Hello and welcome back to this Let's Build series. I believe this will be episode 2, and between the last episode and this one, as you can probably see, I replaced the grass in the garage with stone, and I cleared out the lower level and did the carpet. So, let me go ahead and put those down here. So let's go ahead and work on the entryway a bit. And I think I'm going to do this uh, this kind of a tile pattern. I'm going to go ahead and use some, let's see, quartz pillars, which I just dropped on the floor. There we go. And we'll go ahead and place these as basically alternating tiles. Let's put in the door and another one in or up here and a glass block. Alright, so... It's already becoming dark again. Well, that's rather inconvenient. Let me go ahead and fill this uh, little walkway in, and I guess I'll go ahead and sleep again, and we will resume in a brief moment. Alright, so I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, we're back. And in case you're wondering, yes, I did just sleep on the front lawn of this house like a bum. <laughs> it's Minecraft, it doesn't matter. Alright, so anyway, let's see. I guess since we're out here, let's go ahead and work on the garage a bit. And uh, for that, I'm basically going to do the same sort of uh, lattice -y type deal that I did in the last house. And that's, you know, like I said in the last video, purely cosmetic, just kind of to add a bit of visual interest, I guess, and make it seem like there's actually kind of a... Uh, mm, support beams and stuff, and that it's not just a purely freestanding sort of structure. So let's go ahead and put in some lights, too. And we'll just throw those in, and then maybe one more over here. And there we go. So I think I'll work more on the garage and stuff when we get to the uh, exterior, but for now there's still a lot of work to be done inside the house itself. So Let's see, before we get too engrossed, let's go ahead and take care of the laundry area like I was talking about. So we're going to grab a hopper and a tripwire hook and, let's see, some iron blocks and item frames. Let's see, so we'll go ahead and put the sink here, this here, that here. And uh, actually, no, let's go ahead and put the laundry stuff here. And then we'll have like the water heater and the furnace along this wall. And for that, actually, no, let's do that the other way around. There we go. So let's go ahead and put in standpipe slash flu slash whatever you want it to be here in this corner. And we'll go ahead and put in the tripwire hook. And now, this was suggested to me, we're going to go ahead and put in a pane here and an item frame and then use a button behind that. So that's basically the dryer. Now for the washing machine, we're just going to go ahead and put a pressure plate on top of that, and that is one washer. So let's go ahead and make kind of a archway type deal so that this is just a little bit closed off. And uh, let's go ahead and put in a trapdoor to or some trapdoors. It's kind of like shelves, basically. And some buttons on the furnaces, furnace, some water heater and stuff. And that's basically the laundry room. So, let's move on here. And let's see, let's bring down these walls. And that's that, so we'll put that in here, these doors in. Some glowstone in the corners. It's probably not the most eye-pleasing way of doing it, but uh, it's the way I've been doing it for quite a while, and I don't really know how else I would. So we'll fill in that exterior wall, and now we're going to go ahead and move on to the bathroom. It's basically going to be 2x3, and we'll put in some more outside walls and some windows. A window, rather. 
And now we're going to go ahead and do a tile pattern, basically like the one we did in the entryway of the house. And that's just going to be alternating quartz and sandstone like so. So that's the bathroom. Let's see, I guess we can go ahead and put in just this little mini wall here to kind of hide the block here where that is. Let's put in doors. Okay, let's see. There we go. That's one, and that's two. So that these basically have effectually separate entrances. Just for the sake of privacy. Alright, yeah. So, let's see. So this is going to be the kitchen, and I'm going to go ahead and put in the same sort of tiles that I've been using throughout the house. And that is the nice part about working in the lower level, is that you can actually do this without it messing up the ceiling. Unfortunately, like I said, I won't be able to do this upstairs, but we'll figure something out. So, let's see, let's go ahead and put in kind of a preliminary kitchen, roughing in, type deal. Rough in of the kitchen? I don't know. And the dining area too, which is going to be over here. We'll have the sink there, stove here, and I guess we'll put the fridge next to it. Let's go ahead and throw down some glowstone here. And we're going to go ahead and grab an iron block and an iron door. And those will make up the fridge. And a furnace, plus a heavy pressure plate. And some quartz steps. And that is the stove. So let's go ahead and put in the sink, which will basically just be a hopper. And there you have it. So that's the gist of the kitchen. Obviously, that's, that's not all, but uh, we'll kind of finish that off a bit more as we work more on the lower level. So for this ledge here, I'm just going to go ahead and put in some... No, no, no. Maybe what I will do is and have this floating, basically. And then have some nether fence on either side of it. So that's a nice little kind of 80s looking shelf type thing. And uh, adds a bit of interest, kind of divides the room up a bit. And uh, yeah, so that's basically all that is. So let's go ahead and work a bit more on the kitchen. And we're going to clear out the inventory, grab some item frames, and more pressure plates. And the carpet we're going to use is the countertop space, and the frames, and pressure plates as the cabinet doors, and the handles, or technically speaking, hardware on them. And we're just going to go ahead and do that with the rest of these. And we're gonna throw down some glowstone here, and that will basically be the completed kitchen slash dining space. So, yeah, I think this will be fine. Go ahead and put that in, and that's basically the lower level of the lower half of the duplex. Actually, we still need to do the bathroom, which I want to say I didn't forget about, but. My memory is terrible. If you know me in real life, oh my god. Ah, <laughs> uh, boy. It's terrible. Believe me. Now for the lower level bathroom, and I guess for the upper level too, uh, with that having been said, we're basically going to be doing the same sort of bathroom formula that I generally do, being the uh, shower and tub. Slash tub, rather, along with the toilet, vanity, torch for light, and all that other good stuff. So let's have the front of the shower be facing this way. There we go. Lever up top for the shower head, tripwire hook for the uh, spigot, faucet, whatever exactly that's called. And that is all for the bathroom down here. So it looks to me like the lower level is basically complete. So let's shut that door and we'll go ahead. Oh. Hmm. Maybe I won't have a door for this one. 
Uh, mm. Actually, let's go ahead and kind of cut into this space a bit and put the stairs back by one. So that we can still have the door and that sort of privacy. There we go. So let's put in the door here. And the wool block above it, which will now work because that is one out. And let's see. Hmm. Maybe we can add this as kind of an archway type thing. I think that'd be acceptable. Yeah. Or alternatively, we could make that into a closet, but uh, mm, I think I'll keep it as is for now. Actually, no, we'll just go ahead and get rid of that altogether. Or, hmm. Let's, let's go ahead and put in some quartz stairs, and that'll be that. Alright, so I think that's basically taken care of. Except the still... <laughs> I just can't win some days. I really can't. Uh, I guess... Well... Mm. Ah... Gee... Hmm. Okay... So... Maybe we could make it out here instead. I guess that'd be an acceptable alternative. That yeah, works just fine. Yep. Yeah, we'll stick with that. We'll stick with that. So, on the upper level, let's go ahead and make this closet here. And let's, see, let's just make sure this block doesn't interfere with anything, and it doesn't. And there we go. So, let's go ahead and wall that in. Put in a glowstone block for light, door on the front, and some chests to finish it off. And I always end up dropping things, it's really frustrating. So let's put these up. There we go. Now let's fill in the ceiling. And I don't think I'm going to vault it this time. Hmm. Actually, I might. Why not? Why not? So, like I had covered in the previous video, a vaulted ceiling is basically just wool blocks following kind of the roof line, and uh, that creates kind of sort of a fancy effect, adds a bit of height, makes the uh, space seem a bit more breathable, I guess. So I'll throw that in there so that bats or whatnot don't spawn. I mean, I, I think this world was created before the bats, so they really aren't an issue for whatever reason, but uh, if you're building this in your world, then that's something you might want to um, keep an eye out for, or keep in mind, at least. And now up here, I'm basically just filling stuff in in the same sort of pattern I did in the lower level, and that is a complete bedroom and another complete bedroom. Actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and add in windows on that side, and we'll do that for the lower unit, too. There we go. So, that's kind of the preliminary view of the exterior, as it is right now, at least. I don't know if that's the right, uh, right term for it, but oh well. So, let's see here. We're going to do the same thing for this bathroom that we did for the bathroom on the lower level. Port stairs facing that way, glass panes, and uh, levers and tripwire hooks. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. Okay, so there's that stuff, and then we're gonna go ahead and grab the hopper and the weighted pressure plate, and spruce wood, and carpet. And item frames, and that'll just be to start. And we'll put that in. Go ahead and clear the inventory again. And we will grab some weighted pressure plates, which I actually could have left in the inventory. 
hindsight is 2020, and a torch. That'll go up there. This will be the mirror, and that'll be the way to or the thing for the um, vanity, I guess. So that's the bathroom for the upper level. And, uh, you know, I really start to realize, you know, uh, recording these videos. Let's go ahead and do the kitchen here. Kind of cut myself off. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, I, re I realize now, recording these videos, that uh, it actually is kind of hard to keep things from getting, you know, terribly awkward without basically just resorting to uh, pointless and random babble, you know, which is something that, uh, something that kind of grinded my gears, I guess, or ground would be the proper grammatical form for it, but... Anyway, yeah, it's just one of those kind of things about, like, the Let's Builders and the Let's Players, you know, they'd, they'd always, they'd always be talking about nothing in particular, and if not talking, making basically just random noises, and, uh, you know, I used to think, oh, that's kind of stupid, but the more I record these videos, the more I realize there are a lot of awkward pauses without any real dialogue, so I have to say I give, you know, I, I, I can, I can understand it now. I guess, and I kind of give them credit for it. At least making an effort to keep things from getting too monotonous. So anyway, as you can see here, I did the same sort of thing for the kitchen that I did in the lower level. We just need to add in the item frames and the, uh, the carpet for the countertop surface. And as you can also see here, I did a nice little thing for the entryway, which I think is pretty cool. And we're going to go ahead and put in the frames. Let me just throw down some glowstone real quick. And it looks like I've been recording for about 15 minutes, so I think I'm going to go ahead and finish this kind of episode up. And then I will sleep and resume in a moment. Alright, so that's that. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for now. Thanks for watching this episode. I think there will probably be only one or two episodes left after this one. Be sure to catch those as well, if you please. And uh, hopefully I will see you. What? what? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, so uh, there will probably only be one or two, probably two more episodes left in this little series. And... Uh, the next one will do just a bit of finishing on the interior and probably work on the outside a bit. Landscaping is going to be fairly straightforward because with these houses in real life it's never anything terribly elaborate and more often than not it actually is rather run down and unsightly looking. But uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes and I will resume in just a few moments. So I will see you then.